Um, speaking of hardware, there were flying chairs and everything else this past week after the AEW show. Did you have a chance to catch any of the AEW show? And have you heard any of the rumor I, in any window? I have, I've been watching this from afar. <laughs> it's very entertaining. If it's entertainment, the fans want that's entertainment they're getting and punk has given them a lot of it. <laughs> have you spent uh, any significant time with punk? I know you've, you've had a little no. bit of time with him in WWE. Uh, but you know, we just barely got to say hi. Right. Isn't that funny. I, I never understood that. I, mean, I was long gone <clears throat> when all the bad blood seemed to appear between he and, uh, and Hunter and, and then, um, the loss with the doctor and all that. I, I, I wasn't aware of any of that. I just saw that, of course, like everybody else on social media and I am, um, you know, I always sided with Hunter on that because I didn't know the, didn't know the other guy. So, um, but he's creating excitement now. And if he's not afraid to say it and afraid to, I like the way he said, I'll walk down the hall and be ready. I mean, that's, that's Harley Ray's talking right there. I don't know. I don't know if he's that tough, but <laughs> I love that. that. That old time stuff right there it is. <laughs> you don't got, you got a problem with me. You can find me right there in the building. <laughs> well, they did. They found him. And yeah. uh, I, I think the, the whispers are, there's a whole bunch of suspensions and uh, a lot yeah. of folks are going to have hurt feelings and a lot of fallout and maybe there's third parties involved now and it's going to be an interesting time and i'm curious from your it's, perspective it, it's got to be a divided locker room <laughs> uh, to say the least uh, it, 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 do you remember being i mean we've we've always heard about personal issues right so maybe it was a jacques Rougeau and a dynamite kid or you know it was a bret hart and sean michaels but do you remember there being ever like I mean, Dave Meltzer described this as a melee, you know, it wasn't one or two guys. It was several guys and there's fists being thrown and people are biting each other and chairs are flying. And now really? maybe black eyes, it's a mess. That, that, that's serious, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I, that. Uh, I've heard more than I should probably share here, but I do want to ask. Now, why you would you hold back for what well, reason? stuff in confidence. So for somebody else's podcast. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm in a, I'm in a bad spot because I'm Switzerland, Rick. So if I, if I say anything bad about this company or that company, then but you won't be saying anything bad if you just report what happened. <laughs> well, I wasn't there, but, but, but I hear things and people say things and you never yeah. know what, what's real and what's not, but I'm curious, you you've been in a lot of locker rooms. Do you remember there ever being a melee, like something described? Oh like yeah. God. Yeah. I've seen some. In the old days, it happened all the time. Give us an example of, uh, of one time you saw just a, a real pier six brawl in the backstage area. You mean in one, it, there are two kinds of brawls. Okay. There's one word, a guy will start a fight because he knows it's going to get broken up. Okay. Because there's so many people around. And I would think this is probably the situation with these guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's not like they're walking in the dressing room to talk to Harley race or blackjack. That would take a lot of thinking and a lot of talking to walk in to talk to Harley race about something they didn't like as an individual. Right. Or Jack Mulligan or Jack Briscoe. I mean, Ole Anderson calling out Jack Briscoe. He still hasn't showed up. Ole. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's easy to say it if you can't be found, but I, I actually thought it was pretty cool if, if what I've told, and I don't know anything about who won the fight or who did what, but the fact that Punk said, um, I think, I think it, if I'm not wrong, he said, I'll, I'm, I'm here in the building if you want to find me, right? Something like that? Yep. yep. I like that. And it's probably not what, what Tony or anybody wants to hear, but you know, if, he's not, if he has the courage to say that and then, he feels that strongly about somebody. Um, hey, I don't blame him for saying it. And I, and, I, and I don't, I mean, I like Omega and I like the Young Bucks. So I don't know what the heat could possibly be. They seem to me like really easy guys to get along with, but I don't know them that well. And they're all, it's, for me, it's how they treat me as an individual. Right. And they treat me great. I had a chance to be around Kenny a lot when he wrestled uh, Manny and, uh, Mexico and really got to know him pretty good. And 
the Young Bucks have always been awesome. So I don't know. And and CM Punk, I don't know him. So, um, but he said it, and uh, I don't know anything about Cole Cabana. That's really, I have no idea what's going on there. But <laughs> he, he seems to be under Punk's again a little bit, huh? I, I think that's fair to say. I know nothing about that. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's. Talk I fed about- him, and I decided not to feed him. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> we uh, we're, we're doing ask Nate anything. Wish I, like I could have know- said that in divorce court. <laughs> You've had plenty of opportunities there. That's for sure. <laughs> I knew I gave you a home run there, brother. Well, listen, maybe you can say it next time. Okay. There's always hope for next time. Uh, we're going to bounce around, talk about a hundred different subjects today. Oh my God. As did Henning and race together, Larry and Larry and Harley. Can you imagine jumping on a heart. Can you imagine getting in a ring with Harley race and Larry Henning? <laughs> I had that experience. <laughs> Get up, kid. Get up, kid. <laughs> He's the just playing with you. He's just playing with you, kid. Don't let him break you. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> you think they can do that now? No. <laughs> what do you think would happen? Just as an just example, if all that melee was going on in the locker room and Harley Race broke down the door. <laughs> I think everyone would stop if they were doing it. <laughs> Everyone would have gone, ah, wide <laughs> herbs here, boys. <laughs> He'd have gone, kids, settle down before I have to hurt one of you. <laughs> That's the way it would have been. <laughs> Same with Jack Mulligan or Dick Slater. <laughs> I've seen some tough guys come through the door. A different time, for sure. Yeah. Different people, time, same business. Bill Robinson wants to know, what do you call the move when you go upside down in the corner? You know, the up and over. What do you call that? Oh, the Ray Stevens bump. Okay. Ray, I learned it from Ray. And then Sean got where he could do it better. <laughs> uh, 